Nothing in today's world gets spoken of into existence for no reason. When you look at someone, we're going to take a look at an article here. When you look at somebody like Elon Musk, these individuals, they don't speak about things for no reason, especially when it comes to something like this. It says Elon Musk's Elon Musk acknowledges a therapeutic potential of psychedelic drugs. Will this impact the markets? And this, I believe today, it was like he tweeted out, Elon Musk expressed his support for the therapeutic potential of psychedelic drugs. It says the SpaceX Tesla CEO shared his opinion on psychedelic substances in a Q&A on CodeCon event on Tuesday. Oh, this is yesterday. He said, I think generally people should be open, and just generally open to psychedelics. As he said, after being asked his opinion um, by Roy Levy, executive chairman of Field Trip Health uh, FTRP, which is one of the companies taking psychedelic substances uh, to legality in what has become known as psychedelic renaissance. And again, of course, because someone is starting a business in this in this area, and of course, they shill, you know, individuals like this shill out for a dime or for clout or for a piece of the company and this is for the point of getting people out what what is a psychedelic right it says relating to or d or denoting a sort of drug typically lsd that produces hallucinations and apparent expansion of consciousness and this is typically what they would push it as and it's, it's just medication that it's going to expand your mind you're going to be able to you know to think in different ways and it's really going to help you bridge the gap into the future but the first part of course is hallucinations it takes you away from reality it gives you a fake reality for people to focus on so psychedelics are a class of hallucinogenic drugs whose primary effect is to trigger non-ordinary states of consciousness via serotonin serotonin two receptor agonism it says this causes specific psychological and visual auditory changes and often substantially altered state of consciousness and some of these individuals uh, do come into the hospital setting and they are very difficult to deal with especially um the side effects of long-term use of these medications makes your brain like Swiss cheese. And so you get a lot of these young people that act like they're dementia patients uh, as, a, as a result of this. But why is Elon Musk pushing this, especially with the, the future narrative of the you will own nothing and you will be happy? And I guess maybe this is how you're going to be happy in this sort of an environment and it's because these people realize that being a slave is not a state of mind that many people are going to enjoy especially after it's put into place and so a lot of these things get sprinkled into the conversation of social medias typically to see how people are going to react especially when it comes to somebody who is a political elite or someone who is utilized by the elites. And Elon Musk, of course, is no different as the world's richest man that comes with certain responsibilities. And of course, it comes with certain things that you have to do, right? It's very much like I said in other videos where the devil took Jesus on a, to a high place and it says he showed him all the kingdoms. And Jesus could look down and, and see all the kingdoms and he says, I'll give you all these all these things, right? If you just do one act of worship towards me. And individuals in, in this sort of a scenario, they don't they don't get to maintain uh, their wealth and their prestige and their popularity, their clout. You don't get to keep it. The the those in real authority, they utilize you and they weaponize you, especially if you've seen how I mean Elon Musk and the cars that they make. It's just a fad, you know, when you really look at how expensive they are and environmentally safe, even for if the, if the company is, it's like a a fake company. They produce a couple of cars here, but nothing for what the Tesla, the Tesla stock is valued for, especially with their technology. It's just all, you, you, you get somebody that you can put into a position. And this is what I've said before. Some people get picked for roles 
they have to play. As they say, the world is a stage and Elon Musk is just playing his part in the grand scheme of things. And of course, the article goes on to say is this is in recent years, a number of companies went public with plans to advance psychedelics such as LSD and other mushrooms uh, through, of course, FDA approval. Right? Can't can't get through without the old, good old FDA uh, to put their two cents in to say we give this a stamp of approval so the rest of y'all can hallucinate your way through your day. And of course, they say, well, it's for the treatment of severe mental health conditions and other indications. And of course, we'll have to see what some of those other indications are for. It says you spend a lot of time in outer space. And I want to ask you about inner space. What role do you think psychedelics may have in addressing some of the more destructive tendencies of humanity? Of course, they don't talk about any of these destructive tendencies and imagine that well the way that people should deal with realities that they have a hard time with is well we should give you drugs so that you you hallucinate maybe something that you enjoy a little bit more better than the reality that you're in this is a lot of people making laws are kind of from a different era musk replied says as the new generation gets into political power i think we'll see a greater receptivity to the benefits of psychedelics and I, and I think that will be the case as the old wave of uh, elites basically die off as one generation you know as society advances we need to be able to do something with, with a lot of these people especially with the narrative of you know uh, technology advancing things before things become more technology advanced and so you need in essence you know less workers right you have all everything is going on the wave of automation so what are these people going to do what are we going to have these people do as more and more things become auto automated what are we going to do with all these useless workers we can give them hallucinogens so that they can, you know, whatever, wherever, what, for those individuals who perhaps can't fill a role, well, maybe, maybe you ever see what looks like, what was it? There was that uh, scene of Philadelphia where you see like all the people kind of like walking around, like all zombified out. They literally look like zombies out there in Philadelphia. I forgot what city, I think it was in the city of Philly. I forgot what it's called. I don't know if it's called Kent or something like that, where they were showing videos of people and they were literally just like, walking around and I see a lot of these people you know b typically by the hospital they come out they are either out on the streets at late at night three four o'clock in the morning and you see them they're like almost like standing up like falling asleep standing up and this is basically what some of these individuals are pushing and who are primarily going to be impacted by this typically the poor because there's nothing don't, there's nothing that they can do for them and so this is like a, a way to put them out to pasture, so to speak. It says earlier this year, the billionaire entrepreneur, of course, he was very influential, influential with things like Bitcoin and crypto. And it says as the markets for psychedelic medications grow, comments from highly influential figures like Elon Musk could be a strong impact on the industry's ability to raise capital. And of course, where is this capital going to come from? Well, it's going to come from wealthy investors and individuals that have an agenda of what they want to push and of course it's never good for the people sure some people might say well hey this is this is a good medication we can utilize for certain individuals maybe you know schizophrenics bipolar or whoever you want to name in these sort of areas but i can just imagine literally the new crack for the future right this is this is the crack of the future of what many of these individuals are planning for. Anyway, feel free to let me know what you think of what Elon Musk said. Of course, feel free to like, comment, and, and subscribe, and I'll check you out next time.